See if you qualify. Go to caleitc4me.org. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 6 a.m., breaking news, flames tear through a home in Highland Park, trapping and killing someone inside. Also, a popular Van Gogh exhibit is transforming for one night only to help the people of Ukraine. Pride, back and bigger than ever, the music icon slated to perform at Pride in the Park. Good morning, it's Tuesday, 6 a.m. We're live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. I'm Leslie Sykes. And I'm Brandi Hitt. Hopefully your morning's off to a great start. It is here. Leslie Lopez bringing the sunshine back again today, right? Hi, good morning. Yeah, we have some sunshine, at least for the early part of today, but the clouds do build in, so it's kind of a reverse uh, build of clouds. So we'll see the increasing clouds right about noon. That'll turn into mostly cloudy skies by the time we're heading into 3 o'clock. So even though we're going to have the warm temperatures, it's still going to be cloudy, cloudy and warm. Downtown Los Angeles, 72. Inland Orange County, 75. The Inland Empire in the Valley spots about 82 degrees, so enjoy the sunshine for the early part of the day. The beaches are back to 66, 59 for the mountains, high desert, 73. I hope you have a wonderful day. We're going to talk more about where we're headed for the rest of this week. There's a small chance of rain somewhere in there. I'll show you that coming up. Over to Brianna Ruffalo. Take a look at traffic. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. If you take the 105 westbound headed through the Hawthorne area, you're going to hit uh, traffic a little worse than it usually is. I know it's already tough out here out on the 105 west. We have an accident, and it's blocking the HOV lane at Hawthorne Boulevard. So you can see that backup extends back to, past the 110 right before you come upon that connector. Good news is at least you have Imperial Highway in this area, but if you're taking that 105 westbound and you're trying to get to LAX in time for a flight, make sure you leave a little early. We're seeing uh, the backup get pretty bad there and delays are building. All right, we will turn things over to Scott Reif now up in Air 7 HD. Hey Scott, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well. We'll go check out that 105 and give you a good look at that on our next report. Right now we're at Downey, and you know the 5 freeway is getting pretty heavy on the northbound side. That commute out of Norwalk up into Commerce just getting crowded. I don't see any accidents here. If you're southbound, it's not bad, but it's just the time of the morning we're seeing a lot of volume build on our freeways. Leslie, Brandy? Okay. Scott, thank you so much for the heads up there. We're going to go overseas now. Russia and Ukraine, they are meeting right now for another round of peace talks. And overnight, new video was released showing airstrikes in a residential neighborhood near Ukraine's capital. Two buildings were hit by separate strikes. At least two people were also killed. The UN says that nearly 600 civilians have died since that invasion began on February 24th. That number is expected to be much higher, though, in reality. The UN also says that roughly 3 million people have fled the country so far. Tomorrow, Ukraine's president will be addressing U.S. lawmakers as well. Look at this, an editor at Russia's state-run news channel detained after interrupting the main evening news program with this. Last night, that is Maria Avanzaikova, and she held up a sign reading, Stop the War, Don't Believe the Propaganda, you are being lied to. Now, what she did is being considered a dangerous act of resistance in Russia. A new Russian law also threatens 15 years in prison for anybody who spreads what the Kremlin calls fake news about its military actions. Today, the immersive Van Gogh exhibit in Hollywood will transform into a special art show to raise money for Ukraine. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Karobles is live in Hollywood with details. Mark. Yeah, Leslie, good morning. This is a special one-day-only exhibit open today, not only here in Hollywood, but in five other cities across North America. My photographer and I had a chance to go in and see it and speak to a well-known Ukrainian about the crisis and how this exhibit will help her homeland. On the 20th...